I hope you're all doing okay. Today I've got a really easy and simple thrift clip for you. That's actually so hard to say, thrift clip. But yeah, anyway, I've got um, two really simple ideas. They're so easy and they're kind of coloured themed. And I'm actually wearing both of them now. So the first one is this, well actually the first one is these jeans. If you can see, they're like these paint stroke jeans. Really cute and simple. And then secondly, secondly? The second one is a um, embroidered Nike style jumper. So let's get into it. So I got these jeans about three years ago from the Pull and Bear shop on Oxford Street in London. And they were in sale and they were really cheap and I fell in love with them because I really love the fit, the style, they're kind of like mom jeans. Then they also had these little colorful paint strokes, which you can kind of see just like really like pinks and blues and yellows and they were so cute but over the years the colour has definitely faded off the paint strokes so I really want to try and bring them back to life and um, go over them and make them just as vibrant and colourful as they were when I first bought these jeans. So obviously with this I'm just retouching up on something that was already done to these jeans but you can definitely paint any jeans that you have to make them unique and just add a bit more colour to them. So for this, all I'm using are just your regular acrylic paints, which you can get basically in any craft shop or even Poundland and places like that. Um, I bought this fabric medium off of Amazon and basically what this does is you mix it with your acrylic paints to make it suitable to go on denim. I just have a little paint palette thing, it's really the lid off a yoghurt pot but I use it as a palette to mix my colours and then just some brushes and a little cup full of water. So these are the jeans up close, as you can see there is a lot of colour on them already but it's definitely faded since I bought them and I want to add more colour to the back because there's barely any on the back of the jeans. Um, so yeah, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to mix up some colours using the acrylic paints and the fabric medium in equal proportions to try and match the colours that are already on the jeans and I'm just going to go over the exact spots where they're already like where the, where the colour already is with my paintbrush. So let's get on with it. So I'm going to do this one colour at a time. So I've just poured out a bit of my pink and the equal amount of the fabric medium because for the one that I'm using it's supposed to be 50-50. And now I'm just mixing it all together. So I'm just taking quite a thick paintbrush with the pink on and lightly going over the um, areas that were already pink. See, as I was saying, you just want to basically do one stroke like that with your paintbrush. Um, if it's quite not coming off, then you can do multiple, but you don't want it to look unnatural. It's just a natural paint stroke, just like that. And then you're just going to go in and do the exact same with your other colours. And then once they've dried, you can turn them over and add a bit of paint to the back of them. And that's it, it's so easy and obviously right now they look really bold and vibrant and strong, the colours, but as soon as you put them in the wash or wash them, the colours will fade and it will just look really cute and I think it's a really easy way to customise your jeans and add a bit of creativity and uniqueness to them. So I actually started um, embroidering this jumper before I decided to film this video, so therefore I have already started on the DIY, but I can easily show you what I've done up until this stage. So basically this is just a plain Primark oversized jumper. My friend Sarah gave it to me like a couple of years ago, and I basically never really wear it. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to try and customise it. And I've seen a lot on TikTok and Instagram, people using threads to embroider on the Nike logo onto like plain t-shirts and jumpers so I thought I'd give this a go. 
So a lot of people on the internet are using threads to embroider those little flowers within the logo and honestly I tried it but I am so bad at embroidering that I could never ever ever do flowers. So I decided to keep it simple and just divide the tick into stripes and I'm going to fill in each section with a different colour so it's like a really colourful stripey tick. So the way I got the tick on the jumper to begin with is that I just used Microsoft Word and found a picture of the Nike tick and printed it out to the size that I wanted it to be on the jumper and then I positioned it where I wanted it to be, got a biro pen and just trace around the tick so that serves as a kind of stencil on the jumper and then all you're going to do is literally get the colour threads that you want and just get sewing. So for this obviously you'll need some threads in whatever colours you're wanting to do for your design. I've just got a few bright colours, obviously as I've explained because I want to make some stripes. Um, and obviously you'll need a needle, this one's, you want it to be quite sharp so it will go through your material, especially if you're using like a jumper that's quite thick. And then if you have one, um, you need a, what are these called, like an embroidery ring, I think that's what they're called. Um, and this just makes it a lot easier to do the sewing. So I'd like to say now I am literally not an expert at all on sewing or embroidery and what I can do is literally so basic but um, I'll show you how I go about um, the embroidery process on this project. So I cut a really long piece of thread and I've just folded it in half because my thread is pretty thin so I want to double it up to make it a bit thicker and make the whole process quicker. This is honestly such a long process and this project will test your patience but I guess we all have a lot of time right now so if you want to give it a go I definitely recommend it but it is going to take you a very long time. So I'm just knotting the two ends together, not only to keep them together but just to form a knot as you need when you're sewing. Um, I'm really bad at doing knots as well, like I'm definitely not an expert but I'm just making quite a big knot like that, that'll do, and then on the other end I'm going to cut the loop um, like that, and then I'm going to take my needle and try and thread both ends through. I'm really bad at threading a needle as well. Okay, I've now threaded the needle and I'm just going to tie a double knot onto the needle because I just find that easier so I make sure I don't lose the needle whilst I'm in the sewing process. Now my needle is secure and the end is secure because we did our knot at the very end so now we can start sewing. So I'm just doing a really basic stitch and how I'm doing it is obviously going up through the back and pulling through and then what I'm gonna do is go forward like you would normally with a normal stitch sorry my knot's become annoying okay yeah so I'm just gonna go forward as you would with your basic sewing stitch and instead of pulling it all the way through I'm gonna pull it mostly through and then once there's a little bit left I'm actually gonna go back up in the middle that makes sense so you're kind of going forward and then going half back and pulling it all the way through to make a stitch and then you're halfway through the stitch you just made if that makes sense and I'm just going to keep on doing the exact same thing so going forward um, sorry it's really hard because my thread's so long right now but you need quite a bit of space a lot um, quite a long thread because you need to fill in a large area. But yeah, going forward and then going halfway backwards and then pulling all the way through. And for the pattern I'm doing, I'm literally just gonna repeat that stitch and go around and get smaller until the whole block is colored. So I'll catch up with you once I've done that. So I finished the purple section and now I'm just gonna do the exact same steps again for each separate um, section with a different colour so I will come back when all of that is finished and it'll probably take me quite some time but hopefully it will look really cool once it's finished. 
that I have finally finished filling in all the little segments. Wow, that took a long time. I mean, it takes a while anyway, but I kept on having issues with like making knots in the thread and just kind of messing up by like sewing through bits that I shouldn't have been sewing and having to like undo bits and it was just, it just took a while. But it's finally finished. So let's go ahead and take the ring off. There we go. This is what it looks like on. The um, embroidery ring did make a mark, which is really annoying, but hopefully it will kind of go away over time. But I think it looks really cute. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. This is what the jumper looks like on. I'm not a big fan of the sleeves as they are like this. I mean, they're okay, but I kind of like them more rolled up. But yeah, I think that turned out really cute and it was worth all the time. Like it's so such a cheap way to customize a jumper and make it unique and you can choose your own colors and design and etc and it's just I think it turned out really cute so those are my two really simple and easy thrift flip colorful ideas for a pair of jeans and a jumper whilst the jumper did honestly take hours I'm so obsessed with how it turned out like it could be a legit Nike jumper. I'm obsessed and I'm actually wearing both the jeans and the jumper together and I think they actually go really well as an outfit. I'll show you that now in the mirror. But yeah, if you ever have a go at making any of these thrift flip ideas, please send me your pictures and tag me in them. I'll leave my Instagram below so you can DM me on Instagram or whatever if you make them. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.